What's up, you guys? My name is Hussein. Welcome back to the IPO Nerd, the best place to learn about new companies going public and how to invest in them. America's number one IPO on this channel. So today, we're going to be looking at Lightning China IPO that was supposed to happen a couple of weeks ago, guys, and it keeps getting postponed, okay? But I decided to make a video, you know, regardless, because that way you guys will have the information whenever this company comes out of China. Now, if you don't know about Light in China, they are the leader in tax and financial services in China for over seven years. They've been doing this for a long time. The company is profitable and everything. So stay tuned because we're going to learn about the company. We're going to look at their website. We're going to look at the numbers, at the F1 and all that good stuff. You're going to know everything you need to know before they IPO. Also... Those of you guys that have been asking me about the Porsche IPO, I realized that they're only coming out on the Frankfurt Exchange, so I won't be making a video on them unless or until they decide to come out, you know, on the AYSC or the NASDAQ. That way we, as Americans, can participate, you know, in the IPO and we can buy shares of Porsche and all that. But if you want to see a video about Porsche, just stay tuned. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But today, it's all about Lightchain, right? The financial and taxation service provider in China. They've been doing it for seven years, guys. Let's see what this company is all about. So before we do that, though, let's look at the stock market trending news for the week. All right, guys. So this week, as you probably already know, yesterday, the Fed raised the benchmark interest rates by another three quarters of a percentage point. Now it's ranging from three to three point twenty five percent It's the highest it's been since early 2008, guys. So that is uh, it's going to get more expensive to borrow. Even M1 borrow is getting more expensive and everything. Uh, also, 54 percent of Americans say that their mental health issues like anxiety and depression are directly related to student loan debt. Guys, the new administration is doing the best they can. They already wiped out 32 billion dollars of uh, student debt and they are trying to do even more. But that was your stock market trending news for the week. Today, we're looking at Lightchain China. They are the leading financial and taxation service provider in China in terms of revenue for over 17 years. This is according to IPO Scoop. Here is your IPO details. All right, guys. So the company was founded in 2004. They have 390 employees. They're looking to raise $25 million during this IPO. Their share price is still being debated, but they're thinking about $4 per share. The IPO date is to be determined, so stay tuned. And the ticker symbol is going to be LICN. I'll leave this up on the screen for a second so you guys can take a screenshot. That was your IPO details. Are you an IPO nerd? Join my Patreon for extra perks and shout outs. Also learn how to create and promote your own brand with my marketing masterclass available now. Link in the description. All right guys, so let's look at the website to see if we can learn more about the company right here. Of course, you can always go in the top right hand corner and change the language to English. OK, so we're going to scroll down right here. The common physical and taxation problems of private enterprises. Does your business also face the following financial and tax challenges? Missing invoices, safe public to private, current payment risk, shareholding structure and more virtual inventory. So they help companies on a variety of different tax uh, purposes and tax uh, financial related services, right? So very cool company right here. Over the past 20 years, Lightchain has served more than 1000 enterprises, contributing more than 200,000 talents and grew up with them. So right here, you can see some of their partners, right? I don't know if you recognize any of these brands, but I'm sure they're very, very popular in China. If we click about the company and we scroll down, you can see that China Enterprise Federation recommended management consulting agency. So they are very, uh, 
uh, approved by the PRC, right? People's Republic of China. Uh, ECC, Integrated Financial and Taxation Service System, Advocate, Dutch Caribbean Securities, and so forth. I'm not going to read all these guys, but you can find more information about it. Just a pretty cool company right here, selected as one of the top 50 national management consulting institutions for nine years consecutive, okay? So it's all about representative in the field of finance and taxation. The company offers different types of services right here for enterprises, right? Taxation, they even offer training, right? For people that want to be financial managers and financial directors. They have their expert team in tax information and all that good stuff. So there's their phone number right there. So like I said, guys, if you want to learn more about the company, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But uh, you know me. I like what I see. I like the what you know that they are you know very very popular in China. That's good, right? But I'm all about the numbers, right? So let's look at the F1 in this next segment. I like to call by the numbers. All right. So the company market cap is seventy nine million dollars. They have $42.9 million in total assets. $6.1 million in total liabilities. So more assets than liabilities. You know, I like to see that. $34.2 million in total revenue for 2021. $8.4 million in net income. So they are net positive. Very good. And $16.8 million in cash and cash equivalents. So here's a company that has money in the bank, right? In the form of cash. They also net positive as well for 2021. So I do like what I see right here, guys. And that was by the numbers. Here's your S&P 500 weekly heat map. All right, guys. So this week has been a blood in the streets, right? We can start over here with the technology and communication services. You can see that Microsoft is down almost 6%. Google down almost 6%. A great, great time to buy some more shares of these technology companies, right? Amazon down almost 8%. That is incredible, right? Moving down to financials down there, Visa and MasterCard down almost 7% each. Wow, what is going on, guys? That is insane. These are great companies at great discount. Right here, moving on to industrial and real estate, even the energy sector, ExxonMobil down almost 7%. Great, great, great buying opportunity, guys, for you guys that are like me, long-term investors, right? And that your S&P 500 weekly heat map. All right, guys. So what do I think about light chain China? Okay, so I like what I saw as far as the numbers. The company is net positive, you know, net income uh, positive. I like that. If I can get it for less than $4 per share, sounds good to me. Also, every single year, this company is going to, you know, increase their revenue because people are always going to need financial and taxation services, you know, providers. And they also train people and all that. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that right here is that they launch a new business line of software and maintenance services in 2019 to expand their software product offerings to enterprise customers, universities, colleges and educational industries and have started to generate revenue from provision in such a service since, since then. So the company is not only just uh, training, you know, enterprises and like helping people with their tax uh, problems and tax services and all that, whatever they provide, right? But they also have expanded their their scope and they're trying to look out for uh, colleges, universities and all that good stuff. So with all that being said, I'm gonna have to give this one a big thumbs up guys. But, hey, that's just my opinion, guys. Not a financial advisor. This is not invested in financial advice. So make sure you do your own research. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain. Rick is the mind. I make the micro grain like acid grain. And the best investing channel you ever known, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.